I've experienced God's love in the people that I've met and then my interactions with those people and the way that they've inspired me and treated me and the way that I see them treat others as well. Um, definitely from the church family and especially music. I think I've experienced God's love like the most um, is through people and the environment that I've been in. Um, I've been raised in the Adventist system my whole life and it really shows with the people that you talk to. Uh, I've experienced God's love in, in many different ways because uh, my personal story is, is, you know, I grew up in a, in a, a Catholic household and then eventually I went into the SDA community and, okay. and I ended up, you know, enjoying it and I've, I've been brought up in that type of community and it's always loving and caring and so, you know, God's, God's character really shows from, from that, just that experience alone. I've experienced God's love in multiple ways in this 19 years of my life. I experienced God's love and what I ask for, He gives it. When I'm in need of something, He's there for me. And that just shows enough of God's love. Just look at this world, it's beautiful. I've grown up around it and uh, I've experienced it through my, my parents mainly. Because uh, they're, I, often like, I like to say often that they're, they're unreasonably supportive. Because mm -hmm. um, even if I do really stupid things, uh, they'll, uh, they they still love me for some reason, and I think that's something that all parents. That's a, that's just something that all parents do. It's a little, it's a, it's a habit they all share. Yeah. Um, and that's that's sort of what Jesus does. Mm -hmm. So he, I guess I can sort of see it as a as Jesus, as I am I am to my parents, as we all are to Jesus. So mm -hmm. obviously that's um, yeah. There's more to that, but. Oh, it's been a positive, yeah, it's been a positive experience, for sure. Um, both positive and negative, but I think for the majority, just positive. Definitely. I, I believe it has been. I would say it definitely has because it's made me look at other people's actions in a different way. It made me want to treat others better than what I was doing before. Um... I think it affects me towards my outlook on life. Like you see other people being happy and sharing like God's love essentially. Um, it really makes you want to do the same and like make a positive outcome to people. I'm not scared anymore. I'm more confident because I believe God is always there to answer my prayers. And I have someone who loves me and the most important person in my life is God. And he loves me so I'm cool with that. By this whole project, I've definitely gotten to learn a lot more of, uh, I guess, like the history, the history of what and, and the reason why we do some of the things we do in our in our belief. And definitely like the meaning is, is a lot more important, a lot more deeper than is just on the surface of what has happened. Um, I think I've definitely changed for the better. Um, music definitely calms me down, I guess you can say, and then just, Christianity in general gives you like a safety net. I've changed in the way that I've treated others. Mm, I'd say over the years I've become less arrogant. Mm. Because as you grow, you realize how small you really are. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love fashion. I love art. I love drawing. I do paintings here and there, and it's very like therapeutic for me, and I find peace in it. Um, I feel like I understand the curriculum pretty well, and I really enjoy fabrication, so it just kind of worked out. So, I mean, I'm more, my personality, I'm more of a hands-on person, and I like to oh, be able to, like, do mm -hmm. stuff with my hands. I can't always be thinking about it, so, I, yeah. like, in the web, that wouldn't be necessary for me, but uh -huh. fabrication, I get to, you know, be able to mold certain things for, like, with the clay, or you get to build a tabernacle, build the, the um, sanctuary. And so like doing that, and it, it feels more comforting in my opinion. What made you want to work on your part of the project? Um, okay, actually the gospel analysis, I was on the web for both the gospel analysis sophomore and junior year, so I just thought that was the thing I had most experience in. Well, um, I wouldn't say it's natural, but I have an inclination for music, a disposition, uh, if you will. Um, and it's... I figured I'd, I'd pick something that I was already good at so to make sure things were would, yeah. would be done. Really. I wanted to help inspire people in the way that I was inspired by my friends that were being very kind to me. And so I wanted to do that to others and hopefully inspire the people that I'm working with. Yeah, sweet. Thank you.